You don't need to be a professional developer before you start building websites. I mean, you don't need to have hard coding skills like Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all of that before you start creating a website. So don't be scared. It'll be easy for you to create a website with these platforms I'm about to share with you. So I'm going to be sharing top five platforms where you can build a website by just dragging and dropping and then doing simple customizations on the website for you to get it set up. So it's easy for you to build your website on this platform Forms. and you can do that in just few hours in few minutes in 30 minutes you can get a site set up because they have templates that you can use whether you want to build a store for your business or for your job your portfolio and all of that it'll be easy for you there are templates that would help you build this website easily that you could just copy and use so whether you're a beginner or you're a pro it'll be easy for you to get around these platforms i've carefully selected these platforms that i'll be sharing with you because i've used most of these platforms before and i'm still using like two of them my name is charles and i'm passionate about people and businesses i love to see people and businesses grow and that's what i do in this channel i create videos about online marketing business entrepreneurship make money online and life so if you have not subscribed subscribe turn on the notification like this video and also drop a comment in the comment section So if you're doing this for yourself, for your business, or your clients, it's just the same thing. But one of the things that makes a site look good is the color combination. What colors do you use? Do you use colors that conflict? So if you just use simple colors, you just need to know how to use simple colors or colors that match with each other. These platforms have templates that you could just copy their colors and say, okay, they use this color combination. Even if you're not using the design styles, you can just copy the color combination and use the color combination, get ideas and build your own website. So if you're a beginner, it will be easy for you to get started. And in another video, I'll be sharing ideas ideas that you can use this website to build if you would like to build something but you don't want to build and you want to start up um, a business or something like that i'm going to share ideas that you can start working or using this platform to work on there are different things or there are different ideas that you can use these platforms to build so basically i'm giving you free ideas so regardless of the experience you have you can build an e-commerce store you can build a website for a company you can build a learning model or whatever you want to build with these platforms that i'll be sharing with you so it's be easy for you to set it up and get it going so the first platform we're looking at is wix wix is a popular website you know you can use it to create um websites without coding all you have to do is just to drag and drop you see how beautiful this looks so with wix you can easily build by just dragging and dropping they have a lot of tools and editors that makes it extremely easy for you to use so even if you're a beginner with no tech experience you can use wix wix for what i know is good when it comes to online stores. So if you have a business and you don't have experience, I just want to set this up first. Wix has several templates that you can use to um, set up your website, your e-commerce store. So everything you need to grow and you need to scale is on Wix. You have that creative freedom to you know customize your template so that it can look exactly as you want it to look but the thing i don't like about wix is that you cannot switch your template once you've published your site so you'd have to start from scratch if you want to change templates it doesn't make any sense and some functionalities that are advanced for you to get them you have to like pay extra to get them off to get started you know you can use wix for free to get started now, the next one is Webflow. Webflow is another platform that you can use to build your website and all of that. And the thing about Webflow is it has a lot of interfaces. Sometimes you can just feel overwhelmed, you know, using the platform, especially if you're new and you don't know. But if you're new, I would suggest you start also start with Webflow because Webflow would give you that exposure to different functionalities and everything. If you're using Webflow for the first time, you might just... Um, feel lost when looking at the UI because you see a lot of things on the right, a lot of things, and you might not know where to start from and what to do next. It has different options on both sides of the screen and it's very precise. So you can do a lot with it. Everything you want to customize with Webflow, you can customize. And you say if you want to go extra mile by adding um hard coding stuff and all of that you can easily customize it so it has free version you can try out the free version and it also has e-commerce features so you can still use this to set up your e-commerce store and everything there are a lot of modern templates that you can use for Webflow. So the no-brainer about Webflow is that it has beautiful templates. Like you can do crazy designs with Webflow. And for me, I would recommend Webflow for anybody that wants to start because I believe you want to start learning how to build a website, especially without coding, and you want something that will challenge you, it should go with Webflow. 
So the thing I don't like about Webflow is your pricing plan. The free plan has some good functionalities and some, you know, some you can use it to, to an extent, but for someone that wants to upgrade and have full access to the platform, it's a bit pricey, you know, it's a bit pricey. So, but if you can afford it, if you can pay that, then fine, use that and get started. Another thing about Webflow is um, if you're a beginner, you might just feel overwhelmed. You might just feel like this is too much for me to handle, but I'll recommend Webflow for anybody that's starting out because why not you want to build a website that is cool that is catchy especially if you're building for clients most clients want website to be done on webflow the next one we have is wordpress wordpress is popular so many people or so many companies they said over 60 percent of the companies in the world use or businesses in the world use wordpress wordpress is popular so many blogs use wordpress a lot of people use wordpress wordpress is popular the thing i love about wordpress apart from the fact that it's free to use is the open source content management system system there are a lot of resources and knowledge online if you want to start learning wordpress it will be easy for you to get started and learn wordpress so there are thousands of themes for you to choose from there are free themes premium themes that can help you you know get your site up running quickly another thing about wordpress is that there are a lot of um, third-party plugins that you can integrate to your website so if you're building your website it'll be easy for you to find third-party plugins that you may not be able to find on other platforms so if you're looking for a simple straightforward out of the box design, WordPress is a place for you to get started. And if you're a beginner, this is where I want to start. I would recommend WordPress. I know I've recommended Webflow. Webflow is somewhat complex. If you don't want somewhat something that's complex with WordPress, you can just easily build a blog, easily build a website with um, WordPress. WordPress has a steep learning curve and you need coding knowledge if you want to add extra functionality or if you want to customize it to an extent, you need to like you know a bit of coding for you to integrate or do whatever customization that you need to do. And the pricing plan, if you want to still pay for it, the premium themes and all of that, the plugins, some of them are pricey, but you can still go around it. So WordPress is not too technical. It's not what I'd say, ah, it's too technical, I cannot do, you can do it. WordPress is easy to get started with. So it's one platform that I would recommend for a total, someone that has not done anything concerning coding or that doesn't know anything about building websites with just drag and drop. With WordPress, it's easy for you to get it started and get it done. So Frema is another platform that you can use to build the website by just simple customization, drag and drop and all of that. You can use it to build good website, world-class website, and you just design, publish, and everything, just do it once. It's easy to learn. It has some tutorial videos that can guide you. So if you have your portfolio in Figma, Frema has a feature that can allow you to just copy and paste the frames or the layout instantly on the design board. So if you know how to animate design elements like buttons and all of that, Framer has a lot of transitions that you can take advantage of. So it's exciting to use this platform because it's a new platform that has so much potential, but you should know that Framer, like uh, some other platforms, they have limitations with what exactly you can do when it comes to maybe, for example, copying your design from Figma to Framer. There are some limitations on what and what you can copy and all of that. Unlike Webflow, unlike uh, WordPress that have a lot of resources, Framer, they don't have a lot of resources online. So if you're building a website and you get stuck, maybe you want to add something and something's not working properly, you might not find, I'm not saying you cannot find, you can, but there are some things that will be hard for you to find. So maybe you're trying to solve an issue or a problem you're building and you're stuck. So there are some resources that are not online yet because it's not so big, but Frema is a good platform for you to build your website. So Bubble is another platform that you can use to build a website without coding. So you can use it to build social networks, marketplace like e-commerce store and all of that. You can use it to build SaaS apps. You don't need to code to build a SaaS app. Bubble has a visual workflow editor to add actions, to add events and all of that. It has a wonderful page builder and a style editor. It also has um, a database to store your app's data and you can host your app on AWS Cloud which will give your app that, you know, that ability, that capacity to grow, to scale. It'll be easy for you to scale. So there are API connectors that allows you to like integrate other third party softwares and system. It has a lot of plugins in the library. So yeah, Bobby is great, Bobby is nice, but it's not the right tool for every product idea. So there are some product ideas that you have 
you might not want to use bubble for it because of the limitations that it has another downside to bubble is that you cannot export your app from the platform if you decide to change your mind in the future so if your app relies on several plugins you may run into issues in the future and you may get stuck because you cannot receive the support that you need from plugin creators and the resources are not as much as webflow and wordpress so all these platforms you can use them to create your website so the first thing say you're a beginner the first thing you need to do is to just get started and stop watching videos get started choose one platform wordpress webflow whatever it is try out build an idea build a website so if you're a pro and you're not just starting out i would recommend webflow for you because many clients want their websites to be built on webflow because of the flexibility, because of the fact that you can also do some form of hard coding with Webflow. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section. If you want me to talk about anything, if you have tips or questions, whatever, just put in the comment section. I'm gonna reply you or make a video about it. So you might wanna check out this other video. Cheers.